Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. In this video, I wanna show you how to use my t-shirt templates in Corel Draw. Most of my t-shirt templates collections come in Photoshop and Illustrator format. And the ones that come in Illustrator format can be used in Corel Draw. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. So let's go ahead and open up one of the t-shirt templates. Let's open up a front view men's template. Make sure to have your object manager open. That way you can see all the layers. The key to using these templates in Corel Draw is we need to make our top shadow layer transparent. So let's go ahead and open that and then select the bitmap. Go over here to your transparency tool. We need to click on uniform transparency, change the mode to multiply, and then let's move this down to zero. Now you've got proper shading on your t-shirt template. You can see the fabric color coming through. Let me show you a few other features and I'll show you how to mock up a graphic into this template. So we also have a neck label in there. I can make that visible. If you want to replace that neck label with some different art, you can just replace this bitmap that's in there. But I'm just gonna leave it the way it is right now. Um, there's also a pocket layer that you can make visible. You can also change the color of that pocket. Just select the, the curve of that pocket, and then let's say I wanted to change that pocket to white. You can just change it to white like that. I don't want to use a pocket in this design, so I'm just going to make that invisible. Below that, we have a layer called Your Art Goes On This Layer. Come back to that in a second. Below that we have a heather layer, and what that is is it emulates a heather or a tri-blend look. So let's turn on the visibility of that. With this heather layer, we also need to make that transparent as we did the shadow layer. So let's select that bitmap, click Uniform Transparency, change this to Multiply, and I think that 50% transparency looks pretty good for that heather but I don't wanna make this a Heather shirt, so I'm just gonna take the visibility of that Heather layer off. And in your color layer, let's say I wanna change this T-shirt to black. Let's go ahead and select that curve, and that path is the shape of the T-shirt. So all we need to do is change this actually to a very dark gray. You don't wanna change it to a full black because that'll take out all the highlights in the shirt. So if we change it to a dark gray, that looks like a black shirt. So I'll click OK. Now I want to paste in a graphic. I have a vector graphic here in Adobe Illustrator. This is actually the logo for some free downloads that I have. If you want to find out more about that, just follow the links below the video. I'll go ahead and highlight the layer that says your art goes on this layer, and we'll go File, Import, and I'll import that vector graphic and put it right in there and size it and position it. And it looks like it went into the top layer. To make it look like it's printed onto the shirt, we need to drag this layer just below or just above the your art goes on this layer. So now if you zoom in, you can see the shading makes it look like the art is printed on the shirt. So again, this method works for all of my t-shirt templates that come in Adobe Illustrator format. To find out more about my men's and women's apparel mock-up templates, just follow the links below the video. Thanks for watching.